Available now. Link below. In a jaw-dropping moment that sent shockwaves through the crowd, Tucker Carlson emerged as a surprise guest at Kid Rock's Louisiana concert. As he took the stage, the atmosphere crackled with electricity, and the audience hung on his every word with a powerful message of truth and authenticity. Carlson rejected the digital narratives of gloom and doom, and said painted a vivid picture of the real America, one filled with beautiful people and unwavering spirit. His introduction of Kid Rock was more than just a prelude to the main event. It was a declaration of resilience and a rallying cry for those who believe in the power of candid moments. As the night unfolded, it became clear that this was not just a concert, but a profound statement about the state of our nation. And don't miss our final thought. It ties it all together with a nice little bow. And just like the electrifying moment when Tucker Carlson introduced Kid Rock that you're about to see, this little device right here, well, it's about to revolutionize the way that you power your home. With record high energy bills hitting Americans hard, it's time to fight back against the greedy utility companies. This amazing gadget plugs into your wall outlet, reducing electricity waste, extending appliance lifespan, and ensuring a consistent safe flow of power. It's like having Tucker Carlson as your personal energy advocate, helping you keep more money in your pocket every month. Now use my link in the description to get a 60-day risk-free trial, 65% off, free shipping, and bonus gifts before they sell out. Visit DontWastePower.com now and take control of your power bills. Now, in a stunning turn of events, Tucker Carlson, the top-rated conservative journalist, he left the crowd in awe as he made a surprise appearance at Kid Rock's concert in Louisiana on Saturday evening. The former Fox News host took the stage, greeted by a sea of enthusiastic fans who couldn't believe their eyes. Carlson's presence electrified the atmosphere, transforming the night into an unforgettable experience that went beyond just a rock concert. And speaking from a podium adorned with Kid Rock's logo and the words President of the United States, Carlson shared the story of how he ended up at the concert, and you're about to see it. Now his candor immediately captivated the audience, and he revealed that months ago he was having dinner with Kid Rock at his home, and he invited him to open his summer tour. And Carlson, an unemployed talk show host at the time, accepted the offer despite not playing any instruments. Watch. <laughs> that American would both give you the finger and burst out laughing at the same time. <laughs> That's right. These two men have a lot in common. <laughs> well, I, I, ha I have the feeling that you're, I have the feeling that your wish will be granted. But enough of me talking, it is time to celebrate. Now I know that many of you are not from Gonzales, which has a population I checked of 12,000 people. There are more than twice that number here. So you came long distances and you spent quite a bit of your money to get here. But it was worth it. Because can you put a price on living free in the last free country. So let me tell you, my fellow Americans, what we've got. All gathered here tonight, a free people, united by our love of country and under God. And in the name of that country and that God, we're here to celebrate a party that will not stop. <laughs> and so as I know you can, please be as noisy and disobedient as possible for Kid Fucking Rock. Carlson's decision to speak at the concert came from a place of genuine concern for the state of the country. He admitted to feeling depressed after reading news stories on the internet that morning, thinking himself that this country's effed up. However, his perspective shifted dramatically when he arrived at the concert and walked through the crowd. And then I got here, he said. I walked through the crowd. I thought, nope, nope, it's not. The country they tell me on the internet, about on the internet, is 
effed up, the country that I experience when I walk through this crowd or when I wake up in my town of 100 people in a rural area is a beautiful country filled with beautiful people. Carlson declared with his, his words resonating clearly with the audience. Now, the powerful moment showcased Carlson's ability to connect with the American people on a deep level. His message of hope and unity stood in stark contrast to the often divisive narratives perpetuated by mainstream media. By rejecting the digital doom and gloom, Carlson reminded everyone present that the real America, the one they experience in their daily lives, is a nation filled with beauty, resilience, and goodwill. His appearance at the Kid Rock concert was more than just a surprise guest spot. It was a bold statement about the importance of staying true to oneself and one's beliefs. As a conservative voice in the media landscape, Carlson's never shied away from speaking his mind and challenging the status quo. In his decision to introduce Kid Rock, a pro-Trump rock star, further solidified his commitment to standing up for what he believes in, even in the face of adversity. And the crowd's response to Carlson's presence and message was nothing short of electric. The energy in the air was palpable. You could feel it. His fans cheered and applauded, feeling the deep connection with the words being spoken. For many, it was a moment of validation, a recognition that their experiences and beliefs were shared by others, including a prominent figure like Tucker Carlson. And throughout the evening, Carlson's appearance served as a unifying force, bridging the gap between politics and entertainment. His message transcended partisan lines, reminding everyone that at the end of the day, we are all Americans who want the best for our country and our fellow citizens. The sentiment perfectly encapsulated in the dynamic connection between Carlson and Kid Rock, two seemingly different individuals who came together to celebrate the beauty and strength of the American spirit. As the concert continued, the impact of Carlson's word lingered in the hearts and minds of those presents. His candid, heartfelt message struck a chord, leaving the indelible mark on the evening. It was a testament to the power of authenticity and importance of staying connected to the real world, even in the face of a rapidly changing digital landscape. And in the end, Tucker Carlson's surprise appearance at Kid Rock's Louisiana concert will be remembered as a defining moment of convergence of politics, entertainments, and raw human emotion. It's a reminder that despite the challenges we face as a nation, there's still hope and beauty and unity to be found in the hearts of the American people. And as Carlson so eloquently put it, that is the real America, the one that is worth fighting for. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. Tucker Carlson's appearance at Kid Rock's concert was more than just a surprise guest spot. It was a powerful reminder of the resilience and beauty of the American spirit. In a time when the country seems more divided than ever, Carlson's message of hope and unity resonated deeply with the audience and his willingness to reject the negative narratives perpetuated by the media and instead focus on the real America the one filled with good, hardworking people, was a testament to his commitment of speaking the truth. This candid moment showcased the power of authenticity and the importance of staying connected to the world beyond our screens. As we navigate an increasingly complex political and social landscape, let us remember the lesson of that night, that the true strength of our nation lies in the hearts and minds of its people. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.